How's it going guys? I wanted to do a quick video on some of these um, uh, Some people call them a scotch eye auger uh, They've got a few different names um, <clears throat> Settlers tools, things like that But uh, I was just going to show you a quick uh, One that I'm about to make And you'll get to see how I make it So <clears throat> I've got just a piece of uh, steel piping And a, um, I'm not quite sure the size of this one But it's a smaller one, smaller version of the one that I have previously made so I wanted to have a couple different sizes the last one I made I'm pretty sure was an inch so this one would be uh, looks like it's a maybe a 20 mil um, it doesn't have anything it's an old one anyway so <clears throat> basically I'm gonna weld weld this onto this and that will make my piece that I need and then I'll run the lathe I'll get the wood lathe out and I'll make a nice little handle for it we'll uh, roll the intro and then we'll get into it So I've just set it up on my little work table. <clears throat> I'm gonna basically run the welder, the MIG gas. Um, <clears throat> weld it around there, just to weld the auger onto uh, the top piece. So I'll hopefully be able to film welding. We'll see how we go. was tacked on there so what I'm gonna do is I'll clean this up it looks horrible at the moment I'll clean it up grind it back and then I'm gonna do another complete weld all the way around like an actual proper good weld and then we'll go from there this is just to hold it in place grind it I'll grind it back I'll adjust this MIG to get it uh, exactly where I want it and then we'll go from there all right so I've ground it back it wasn't the best of welds but it was actually pretty solid but I'm gonna go back over it and just uh Give it a nice touch up, obviously, in here. You want to get it and see it's got some good penetration. You can see the things through there. But yeah, I'll give it another touch up with a welder. Then I'll go back over it and grind it. And then, um, yeah, it's pretty much it. So there, obviously, you can see this end, we've tapered off. Uh, that whole diameter there is the same diameter as the drill bit. But this tapers off so you can belt it into some wood. And then... That will leave your piece. But yep, we'll uh, I'll skip to it, start welding again, and uh, tidy it up, and then I'll paint it, and then it should be done. All right, I'll do the same. I'll uh, go and grind it back, tidy it up, and then I'll come back to you and show you what it looks like once it's cleaned up. All righty, I have uh, cleaned it up as best as I could be bothered doing, so it's good enough. The welds are pretty smoothed off, and uh, yeah, it's got a full solid weld around it. And just gave it a bit of a rub back with a bit of sandpaper, and I will we'll give it a spray. Uh, Either the green paint like my other one, or maybe a red, so I don't know, probably something different, but that's pretty much will be it. I'll uh, show you the finished product in a minute, and then yeah, we'll get on to uh, laving up a handle for it to, to go in there, so you can get a bit more leverage when you're twisting it into a log, so cool. I just gave it a bit of a red paint job, that's the Holden red uh, heat enamel paint, as you can see. Alrighty guys, so I am, uh, it's the next day, got my uh, <clears throat> auger made up, painted, come out alright, it'll do. And what I'm going to do is use an old broom handle, I was going to lave it out of a uh, 
a bigger piece of wood, but the broom handle is not far off being the size, so it's going to be a lot easier to just do a quick uh, job on this one and tidy it up and make it so it fits inside the handle here. Uh, yeah, so that's just cut off a bit of broom handle. So I'll uh, video as I do my work on the lathe and go from there. See. And mind you, I've got to take a bit of the, the end off. Uh, which I might just do just quickly. Oh, perfect. So it has a stopper on the end now. You can use that handle like that. That's actually really good. Perfect. <clears throat> Alright, so what I'll do is I'm going to add some glue into the handle to strengthen the end up and then I'll give it a, a touch up and tidy it up, give it a bit more of a smooth off and uh, that's it. Alright, so I have now stained it and uh, gave it a bit of a lacquer. I've glued the guts of that and it come up pretty strong so I'm happy with that. So, yep, that's it. Alrighty guys, I finished finished the uh, auger tool. So I'll give you a bit of a bit of a demo. And there's the still a little bit wet, but that's the the handle that I just quickly laved up, and as you'll see, it tapers off at the end, just a little bit bigger. There's the drill bit and the tap in, and yeah, this just slides in through here, like this way. And there you go, pretty much doesn't go any further than that. And now you've got a handle to work around into the log as you screw it in. So that's it. How to make a quick and simple easy auger for bushcrafting. Thanks guys for watching. Peace, stay moist.